Hi, uh, welcome to Game Like a Girl. Um, I've done a restart on the game because I'm now on my new PC. So hopefully this video will be um, much better quality than the previous ones. Hopefully the game is running so much better on my PC now. So let's keep fingers crossed. So what I've done so far is I didn't want to struggle to build this while recording. It, it took absolutely hours to build. It's very um, fiddly, there's a lots of foundations jumping all over the place and I didn't think it would make for a really good viewing so I decided not to do it. So I got all this done off camera. Uh, I've still got more I want to do but this is the bare bones of it at the moment. So we'll go on a quick run round first of all. This is just a ramp, I've got to put fences up here. This is just a ramp to get down to the beach, nothing more than that. And this, this whole structure, as far as the game is concerned, is a dock. The whole lot. Uh, just ignore those logs hanging off the side there. I was trying to sling them in the sea. I couldn't get them in there. So, go around here. I've built sort of lots of bridges and ramps uh, with some flat areas so that I can do different things in here. So, I'm not sure yet what a lot of these areas are going to be. I'll work it out as I go. But there's a couple of small areas there, slightly bigger one here, a really big one here. Uh, carry on up this way. I want to carry on building off in that direction from about here. I'm um, not sure where it's going to join but I want to get up to the top of that cliff. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is the trees. It's very difficult in this game to build without all the trees and stuff they grow back so if you've chopped logs and stuff to clear an area they are going to grow back i've already chopped some trees down i'm going to have a few trees growing through this but for now until there's a fix i'm just going to have to keep chopping them down so it is what it is the game is still in a, um, early access anyway so i mean there's a lot of changes to go and it, even as it is now, it is still an amazing game, as I keep saying. So this is the area where I'm going to be building today. I'm going to be making like a small house with um, gardening plots, like a gardening area on here for today. Then we go up further and further. I've already put one house up here. It was after I finished this, I thought... I'll film it. It's just a small little house and I have been cursed with the door bug. The doors don't open. I did actually put the door on with me inside the house. I had to knock a wall down to get out. So, <laughs> so I've just got a few workstations here. And coming up to the top now. So this is the top. So this whole lot is all dock um, and then as far as getting my settlers and everything ready I need to be coming I'm going to be coming out here this is where I'm going to be building all of my uh, bits that I need for my settlement such as uh, settlers houses tavern uh, blacksmiths tailors storage all that kind of thing is all going to be up here so all, this, all of the bits and pieces that I do down here, they're for me. They're nothing to do with the settlers. They're not going to be using them in any way, shape or form. They can't be trusted anyway. The last one I had stole an axe from me and then left. <laughs> They've got a mind of their own. So there's a the view there. It's not terrible. This is going to... This is bugging me. <laughs> but it's the only roof at the moment for this size house so I, I just have to pretend I can't see it and get over it. I'm sure that the um, developer will put a small triangle in the games just so that we can fill those gaps in. So right let's get back down to our building area. So I've already got a lot of the bits hopefully I've got everything that I need here fingers crossed just wanted to put this um, 
get this composter started because once my farm is all built I'm going to be needing compost 96% so close yet yeah, so far oh well it'll give me enough oh there's another 10 there look at that get off uh, let's put the other one in there there we go good to go Oh, what can I turn? There we go. Right, so I'm thinking of like an L-shaped house just here. Or maybe, I don't know. I mean, this is technically all for display. It's not going to be a farm that I'm actually going to use. I'm just going to plant stuff and it's going to stay there. So I'm not sure that I need much. I'm thinking maybe one foundation with maybe three or four plots on. We shall see. Okay, so let's get this underway. So first of all, we need our, whatever these are called, posts. One there, one there, one there. One there, one there. I think I will come up this way. I'm going to be building in my materials. I hope it doesn't stop the building process. So that is basically, oh god, I haven't thought the roof through very well, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I've only done um, basic building so far, I've not attempted an, an L-shape anything, so. So let's get these in, oh, I've got my axe, need my hammer. There we go. Hopefully I can stand close enough so it will take everything from that pile behind me or not oh god look at it all Whoa, I've got possessed building materials and let's just see if we can get that one there there we go I'm just going to do one story because I th think if I do two I'm going to end up with a lot of tree inside the building although I'm not too worried about inside the building because my doors are all broken, so <laughs> not too much to worry about. I'm going to be doing um, limestone, so let's get that in there. Okay, there's the limestone. I'm not going to want a window in there, but I will have one there, and I'll do a solid panel here I put a solid panel there a window there and I think I'll have the door here so there's the door then I need the window there's the window and what am I going to do back here definitely want a window there it's not really much of a view there, is it? So I might just, I keep pressing the wrong buttons, might just do a plain wall at the back. There's not really anything to see there, is there? I'm hoping that I did just do all limestone. Limestone. Li oh, let's see. Okay. I do like that you can have all of your building materials just on the floor and it will grab it or you haven't got to keep it in your inv inventory. Your inventory is actually quite small but due to the ability of being able to craft from not in your inventory, it's all just got to be nearby. That's what I think makes the inventory work. I think without that the inventory would be a disaster there we go so that's that's that built pretty quickly how many bricks we got left we've got still got plenty of bricks and plenty of planks and our dry grass right now let's see what I'm going to do with this roof. oh my god where do I even start with this roof okay right let's start here it's going to have to be the roof with the bits missing again isn't it 
I really hate that roof. Okay. What about that? Do I like that? No, I don't think I do. We've moved on to stairs, right. I think that's the one I'm going to have to go with. I don't think at the moment that there's another choice. So if I put that there, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this corner. This could be a disaster of a roof. Right, I'm not really sure how to go about this, so if I get a corner on here, is that the one? That tree's in my way. No, I don't think it's that one. Definitely not that, not that, not that. Let's turn this one around. Not that one. Oh, no, that's far too big. Oh, my God. Right. It doesn't line up with the other one either. It doesn't look like I've got enough of a choice to be able to do what I need to do here. Has that got there? That's the plain one, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. Let's just go outside and see how bad that looks. It looks pretty bad from in here. <laughs> oh, good God. Um, if I put a ceiling in, it might help hide a multitude of sins. So let's have let's just have a look. I mean it'll do for now. We'll have to see when the new patch goes in if there's any more options for roofs. We have um been in the Discord channel. The the guy's actually really nice. He comes in and he'll ask for people's feedback and we all just give him our wish list really. So if you go onto the Steam um, forum and look at the pinned post at the top, then the uh, information for the uh, Discord channel is all in there. And there's a f proper friendly bunch of people as well, very helpful. And a lot of people spend all day in there, really, just hanging out. There's actually quite a few people in there now, so. Yeah, so the developer will come in there uh, every now and then and ask for feedback and what we want to add. And we have requested like clay roofing tiles and different shapes so we can, you know, different p roofing parts so that we can achieve better results with our roofs. Cause I, I mean, that will do, but it's it's not great. Right, let's pick up some planks. Not sure how many I'll need, but if I put a ceiling in there, that will hide all that, and that might show, but we'll get rid of the corners, at least on the inside. I think they're hideous. Why would anyone do that? <laughs> You'd put an end on it. Okay. So let's go back into building. We want a ceiling and I want a wooden ceiling. I think that's birch. I want that one there. It's not perfect, but I mean, I mean the doors are broken anyway, so I'm not going to see this. My old PC, the doors worked. 
So it's maybe got to have something to do with a newer version of Windows. I've no idea. Right, shall we put the door on? I'm not going to go back in there anymore, so we might as well. If I can find the doors, there it is. I think I've got all my... I think the hinges are in the f on the floor in there somewhere. There we go. Open. No. I guess I'm going to have to try and get those. I should be able to grab them using nearby, so not the end of the world. Okay, right, now I need to get rid of a lot of this stuff on the floor. I'll take it down to the next level for the next build. Don't know quite what I'm going to do here. I might even make it an extension of the, um, like the farm area. Maybe um, put some more crops down here just for display purposes. It's a shame, really, there isn't more, more of a choice. You know, like tomatoes and carrots and things like that. Because then, when your settlers come, they can just sort of swing by, pick some carrots. And maybe they might live a little bit longer because they don't seem to like eating very much, though. Let's get these planks. I absolutely love this nearby thing. It's fantastic. There we go. We also need some... Um, I mean, I know this is a survival game, but it's it's not like the forest where you're in a plane crash and you're dumped on an island this is a guy leaves by choice to come to a deserted island to live like this so he should be allowed a few mod cons and i think that a few more decorative items you know like stack of barrels or you know bits and pieces like that that you'd find on a working dock and maybe an anchor and a, a big coil of rope and things like that just to dot around to make it not quite as bare. I'm sure there'll be a lot more like that coming, but that's just my wish list, really. Okay, so I need to go up here and make my farm plots. And I have to do one at a time. So I'm going to have to run down and up and down a little bit. Uh, the stations, I think I'll just do the four, where is it, that one there, I'm not even sure if I'll have enough um, compost yet to actually build this, but I can definitely put the placeholder down for it, I'm hoping it's going to fit and not hang over too much. Oh, that is hanging over quite a bit, isn't it? Hmm. i tell you what then. We're going to have this as an extension of our farm down here. We're going to have one there. Let's just eat all of that. How much have I got ready? I've got four in there done and not enough in there yet. Okay, well we'll leave it a little bit longer and um, we might be able to get one built. Then I'll just go for a run around and see if I can find um, blueberry seeds. They're always good. They look pretty. So back to stations. And another four slot. That one's just twice the size. It's a shame if they got they need really like a two. I don't think one would look right, it just look like dollops of mud on the floor. Quite pleased with how that looks really. It's just a shame that I've got that 
triangle missing does make me twitch. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do to get these lined up as well as we can. There we go, there's the second one in. I've cut some logs up as well. I'm going to dot some logs around. There's all my buckets ready for the planting. The first time that you water that soil, it uses like two buckets of water. Horrendous. I've got to run all the way up there because you can't do it with salt water. So I've got to run up to the lake to get my water, which is why I bought six buckets. So I don't really want to go too mad on the farm plots. Right, then I'll have just a couple of these, just for maybe like mango trees. And I think I'll also have a bush outside outside of the house. So maybe like in here, I'll just plant like a, a red berry bush or something like that. I'll leave the composter there. I'm just going to put the two in at the moment because I might do something different with the other end. Uh, right, we've got the wheelbarrow. This can go down there as well. The herb station, it's all very gardeny. It's got plants and stuff on it. that might look nice down there we can slip that here yeah that looks okay uh, then we can get a few a few logs oh that is a long way down we'll just put some logs like here just a small stack. There's something like that. Um, let's take one of the buckets of water. We'll just sit that at the side there. Oops, why won't you go down there? Okay, why not you know why are you not going in there? Well that's very strange. Not sure why it's doing that, but it doesn't want to sit there, maybe there we go, it'll sit there. Not his happy spot. Right, let's go and see what else I've got up here that I've got the little um the little cart, so that can sort of double up as a wheelbarrow, I guess. If I can get hold of it. I do love this cart, but it's oh very um, laggy to play with. I know there's a fix coming for this. Oh my god, did you see that bounce up in the air? It's very sensitive. <laughs> I will just sort of park it about there. That will do. I would like to put a plant in it. Make it a little bit more decorative, I guess. Actually, the other end of that garden bit down there, I might... I might make a little pottery hut and put some like clay plates and cups and stuff out with a water tower so then the the settlers when they arrive could maybe use that as um somewhere to drink if they will I don't know I mean it's on a dock I'm not sure if they will maybe I could use some remote storage there and put a few bits on there they might use that uh, where can you go? This barrel is purely for decorative purposes, although it will also fill with water. I wish you could put it up the other way. Um, 
what else do I have? Let's go and have a look. Uh, not really, really any room for a water tower there. Um, I might grab one more of those. Because I do love a mango tree. Yeah, one more of those. And then I think that the garden area is about done. I won't make you sit through um, watching me try to find seeds for blueberries. Because whenever I'm looking for them, I can't find them. And when I'm not looking for them, they're everywhere. Um, We'll have a mango tree, right there. It's a shame they're so long. Can't really even have them hanging off the edge because you'll be able to see them, so. Hmm. Right, let's see where we're at with the compost. We've got 50% done there. Which is enough to do one of those plots. I believe. Whoops, hammer. There's one. Uh, so I'll need 50 for the other one. But I haven't got a lot done. I've got 10% in there. Let's just take that out and I can do this one here there we go that's ready for a seed now so got nothing ready in there 40 in there right that's it now so it's not enough to do the other big plot so I'm just going to run down here and do the last one down here I need more to fertilise as well. So all I normally do is just run down there on the beach and do the yucca trees and cut when I cut down the, um, I was going to say the pineapple trees. Pineapple trees, where did I get that from? The coconut trees. And I just stick the leaves and all the bits from the yucca plants in there. So that sorts that out. So yeah, on the uh, this bit of building, I want to get, I want to come out from, say, down there, all the way across to here, and then fill this whole area, join back up to where I'm standing, and then do some stairs or something up there, and continue maybe in this part and down the side. I'm just, I just don't like the idea of having these trees grow through everything, so... I'll probably have to be a bit careful when I get over there. Um, need a few more water towers as well, so I'll build some more of those off camera and just dot them around everywhere. And that is the end of today's video. So on the next one, I'll be doing... Um, maybe finish off that farm area down there and add the pottery shop. And see how that goes. So that said, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button. Really appreciate you spending the time to watch. Thanks again. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.